Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to compare WeGT with WeUG. If you have some ETFs that you're interested in and you want me to make videos on them, write it down in the comments and I'm really happy to create comparison video or review video. Also, if you want to learn how we can make more money with ETFs, I created a course and you will find the link down below in the description. So without further ado, let's start. When we come here to the WeGD and WeUG, what we can find? Both are issued by Vanguard. Then we're going to see the first difference and that's expense ratio. Expense ratio is 0 0.10 for VGT. Comparing to VUG, we can see 0.04. What does it mean? So let's say that you would have $10,000 invested. You would pay $10 as a fee in VGT. In VUG, only $4. So in this regard, VUG is winning. Assets under management is higher on VUG. And the next thing are underlying index. Here for VGT is the information technology market uh, with 344 holdings. On the other hand, it's a US large growth for VUG with 287 holdings. Now we will get to the number of holdings, uh, what like what kind of segments they are and also what kind of stocks they are in, right? So when we go even further, I can show you the performance here. And when you check the performance, sometimes one is winning comparing to the other. Three years, VGT was better. Five years, also one month better than VUG. Then three months was VUG better. So it's like up and down, round and round. And we don't know, we don't really know what future will bring. But the one thing that I want to show you what is really important in this video are the sectors and then also what kind of stocks they have. So as you can see, Vanguard VGT as software, IT services, computers, phones, households, semiconductors combined like 90% just these three things. On the other hand, when we compare to VUG, technology again, 57%, and consumer, 20, that's 77. Healthcare, that's what, 85. And then we have everything else, industrials. And now I want to show you the holdings, and this is the most important thing. When we compare VGT and VUG, they are kind of similar, but VUG got a uh, lower expense ratio and also, their stock holdings and weighting in ETF is different. Apple, Microsoft, just these two stocks in VGT make 37%. So imagine that, that you're investing into VGT ETF and 37% of all, your whole portfolio contains two stocks. And this is something that you should be that this is like critical information for you because yes, for VUG, it's only 20%. But if something happens with Apple or Microsoft Corporation, you will feel it with your ETF. So I would definitely choose VGT if I believe in those two companies to the future. And I would analyze it by myself if, okay, if I believe in Apple and I like the stock and I don't want to sell it because I believe I'm, I'm Apple fan, whatever or Microsoft Corporation too, that's a good way to go. But in the moment when you have doubts about these two companies, I don't know if VGT or even VUG is for you. So, and then we can see like Meta Platforms, Alphabet, here in VGT is Visa, PayPal Holdings, MasterCard, Adobe, Salesforce, Cisco Systems, systems. Uh, and yeah, so you, here you can see in VUG, you see Apple, Microsoft Corporation, 20%, Amazon, 6.4%. On the other hand, Apple, Microsoft, 37 in VGT. Now, when we compare the score, quality score 6.22, quality score of VUG 5.61. And let me show you the fun OLAP, and then I'm going to show you also the dividends. So this is pretty much it. To summarize this page, expense ratio is lower in VUG comparing to the... Mm, expense ratio of VGT, then of course, number of holdings are higher in VGT comparing to VUG. Uh, the performance of VGT was better primarily, I believe, because uh, the two stocks that are heavily in VGT by 37% comparing to the VUG of Apple and Microsoft are only 20%. So that's why you can see that sometimes the performance was better for VGT comparing to VUG. And of course, when we come here, you can see clearly, as I mentioned, Apple, Microsoft. Now, when we come here to the fund overlap, we can clearly see that 25.5% of VGT 
344 holdings are also in VUG. So again, let's repeat that. 25.5% of all these stocks of holdings are also in VUG and only 30% of VUG 289 holdings are also in VGT. And they are overlapping by weight 45%. So as you can see, there is like 40, 45% of overlapping. All of them are in Microsoft, Apple, Nvidia. So these companies are overlapping. You can clearly see this is what this first page is 10.8, 10.2. Just these all companies is like 30%. They are overlapping with Visa, Adobe Systems, Mastercard, PayPal Holding, Salesforce. So these companies are going to be there. And again, the ratio is lower. Now, when we compare the dividend yield here, this is VGT. VGT got 0 0.82, 1.11, 1.29, 0.99. On the other hand, when we compare it with VUG, you can see that we had 22, 0.66, which wasn't really great. 2019 0.95 but before that it was like kind of all right so even the dividend yield here is similar comparing to the yep even those are like similar so again to summarize this whole video both are okay-ish VGT and VUG my perspective on it is that uh, VUG I like more only because the expense ratio is lower than of course number of not the number of holdings but it's not heavily uh, focused on Apple and Microsoft but yet it's still there but it's my perspective now you can choose yours and write me down in the comments your thoughts on both of these ETFs like what do you think about it and if you like it or no definitely check the link down below in the description how we can make money with ETFs and I can teach you like everything about what are some important things about ETFs to know. And of course, uh, if you know some good ETFs that you want me to compare, I'd really happy to make videos on it. So that would be pretty great. And that's pretty much it. So I don't know what else to show you. Definitely focus on how we can make more money, not by investing, by uh, doing a better job, having a businesses, side hustles, whatever and pump it to the, to the market and definitely check the really interesting guys on ETF is a TQQ and that's something that I would definitely recommend to check out high expense ratio it's triple leveraged ETF I made videos on it too and you can find it when you're going to search like TQQ or something and that's pretty much it so thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye see ya